Well, I'm pumped to be here with our friend Keith Wilson from Skog and Dickey Park Center. You guys are on fire. I mean, you're going into 87 years of business now, right? We are. You know, we've been around since 1929, a family-owned business. Um, we are a dealership, but we have our own engine shop, and we're one of the largest uh, Chevrolet performance dealers and GM parts dealers in the, in the nation. Now, some of the things I've heard from you know people in the industry, and hopefully you'll take this as a huge compliment, is that they couldn't do what they're doing without you guys. I mean, that's huge. Well, it would seem kind of gratuitous, but yeah, we've had that that uh, comment, and I think that's because of our technical expertise and our timely delivery, and we understand the customer's needs, and that's why we have about a $15 million inventory, daily inventory. Yeah, and that not only includes uh, GM parts or Chevrolet performance parts, but we have over 300 uh, lines of aftermarket products and racing products that we're direct with that we can also offer to the customer. So it's kind of like one-stop shopping. You buy a crate engine or we have a custom engine and you want to accessorize that or you want a, a fuel system part or something like that with it, we'll most likely have that in stock for you. Okay, so I want to talk about this beautiful engine we have here. Sean, this is the uh, Gen 5 LT1 or LT4. It's Chevy's latest and greatest. And so we're starting to do development work with that. Um, we've got our you know production blocks and sleeve blocks in. Uh, so we're starting with the short blocks. And um, a lot of people uh, have pretty much met the limits with the production uh, components in those, although they are forged cranks and um, some forged pistons in the LT4. Some of them want different bore stroke combinations and compression ratio. So that is our project that we have underway. Um, and generally we'll be having uh, the, the ones that we have out right now are the 416s and 427s. 416s in high and low compression and 427s in a sleeve block. Um, so we'll have those available with the best components that, that money can buy in them or the components that you desire. Okay. Um, and then we'll later be topping those off with a CNC head that I'd like to show you here shortly. And we think it's gonna be a great combination. All right, Keith, well do me a favor and point out some of your favorite features of this engine. Well, we're showing the DOD delete, displacement on demand delete, and BVT delete, variable valve timing delete. And talking to customers and engine builders, um, we need to do away with the heavy lifter package for the DOD delete. And um, a lot of the tuners were wanting uh, just to run straight timing. They weren't wanting a variable valve timing. So um, we have DOD delete kits that we can send out. And we're in production with um, a timing cover that moves the pickup sensor for a Gen 4 timing chain set. Uh, and also we're working on just something like a locked out phaser that would eliminate uh, variable valve timing. So we're in pre-production with some of those and um, it's just gonna be a straight up race engine with those components. Well, we're over here in front of the new CNC head, and I understand that it really brings that engine to life. Sean, this is the uh, head that's going to really wake up that engine, um, and it's going to be the reason we can get the most potential out of that engine. And we have searched far and wide for the best port here domestically and internationally for this uh, Gen 5 Chevrolet Performance head. And uh, so we now have that port, we have them CNC'd, and they flow tremendously better than the production head. I'm not quite ready to release the numbers uh, yet, and, and we don't race flow benches. Okay. We want to get them on that engine and get some uh, cam combinations to really uh, complement this head. And so just uh, check with us, uh, and you'll see some tremendous numbers coming out of that engine. Well, Keith, this sounds so exciting, but it also sounds kind of expensive. Yeah, when you look at all the GM engineering that went into this bear casting and us searching around the world for the best port, you'd think it'd be very expensive, but customers have been pleasantly surprised at how it's not hurting their pocketbook. Really? Okay, well, I want to know how much it costs, so where can I find that out? You can either call one of our performance professionals, or it'd probably be best just to check us out on the web at sdparts.com. That's S-D-P-A-R-T-S.com. All right, guys, so if you want to go fast, and we know they do, Always. right? <laughs>
<laughs> and you want the right part for the right price, then it's sdparts.com. Hey, we're having a great time, so stick with us at PowerAutomedia.com.